Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I got another unboxing video today and I'll be unboxing an item from a company that I have not yet worked with. Their name is Van Goa, but I do I have heard of them and I do have a couple of YouTube friends who have unboxed some of their items and they just rave about them. They seem like a really great company. So they just sent me this. As you can see, this is their SDM pedal board. And as you know, I'm a big fan of pedals, big fan of effects. And I've done, you know, I've built pedals, I've reviewed pedals, I've modified pedals, you name it. And um, I have a couple of pedal boards, but I can always use another one. So all right. So let's see what's inside. Well, right away we see, oh, it's got a case. Oh, that's cool. I love a pedal board with a case. So you can see this is pretty cool. It's got a decent case. This is a um, like a Cordura or something, and it's got pretty decent zippers here. They aren't like super chintzy little zippers. And then we've got a pocket in the front here. Let's see if there's anything in this pocket. There is. We've got our instruction manual. We've got a bunch of power cables. We'll come back to those. And that, oh, some more. We've got an AC adapter. Now, as I understand it from Van Goa, this pedal board has the power built in. So it's not just a pedal board to hold your pedals, but also to power your pedals. Let's see. Voila! Oh, there's some stuff falling out. This is the board. So we can see that Van Goa logo across the top. And this is the top side, or this is the side you'd put your pedals on. This is the bottom side, but we see a Van Goa logo there as well. Now, I don't know how well you can see this, but there is a little part here that flips so that that's what tips it back. If you don't want it perfectly flat on the ground like this, you can tip it up, which is typically the way most people like to use their pedals. So I'm gonna scoot up just a little here so you can see these just a little bit better. But this is actually all of our um, power for the pedal. So we've got a power switch right here. We've got our AC jack here where our, um, our wall adapter plugs in. And then we've got a bunch of ports here that are for our pedals. Now over here, they've got two more ports and these are switchable impedance or switchable voltage, excuse me. So you can have nine, 12 or 18. So if you have an 18 volt pedal or a 12 volt pedal, you can use these here to power those. Or if you just have nine volt pedals, you can just put them in the nine volt setting. And then these are just additional nine volt power supply. So it's actually got a pretty flexible little power supply built in. And it even has USB power here. So if you have something that runs on USB that's a five volt, bam, there you go. Let me see what else fell out of the box when I opened it. Okay, so they also include some strip Velcro or hook and loop, I guess. Velcro is a brand name, but they, they include that stuff with it as well. So one of these sides, this side has the hook and looks like this side, yes, this side has the loop. So if you wanna put Velcro on the bottom of all your pedals, it includes the stuff to do that. So then you could put Velcro here. You can put the, like the loop, uh, loop side here and then put the hook side on your pedals and then bam, you can just stick all the pedals right on. Okay, now it does not include your pedal interconnect cables. You'll have to supply those yourself. And I just went through my cable box and I found a bunch of them. You know, some of them look like this. Some of them like this, some of them like this, right? Lots of different, some of them are just straight cables like this. So I just kind of found a smattering of cables here and I'm gonna use those to hook up some pedals. Now, just out of the frame over here, I know you can't see it, but I'll put in a photo. I just grabbed a smattering of pedals. Anyway, I'm gonna hook those up now and then we'll try it out and see how it works. A few moments later. I've got a full pedal board in here. So you can see it's very easy to transport. It's got this shoulder strap here. If you wanna throw it over your shoulder, it's got a reinforced handle here. And then of course, pull the Velcro and unzip the zipper and you should get a look at the pedal board. So let me show you what I did. Here we go. All the power cables there across the top. Now I didn't do a really great job on cable management. I certainly could have done better because I was throwing it together really fast, but this is gonna be a good pedal board. So let's plug it in and try it out. Okay, folks, so here we go. I grabbed my SG, got the pedal it's all powered on and got the uh, my little Vox amp here. There's the clean tone with no, uh, no pedals turned on. So here's the loop pedal. Let's start there. So if I click the loop pedal, we can hear the loop that's captured in there. And then of course, since it is a loop pedal, I can play along with it. But a sound 
sound that's a classic sound that I love is if you combine compression and boost on a clean tone, you get like a really sweet country tone. <laughs> And we can do a dirty tone with the rat here. Instead of uh, the tremolo there, let's switch that off and switch on the vibrato, we'll keep the reverb on. Oh yeah, there we go. Ooh, that's fun. Let's uh let's throw some dirt on that. Yeah. So you can see that's exactly how a pedal board is supposed to work. You just kind of switch pedals on and off. It allows you to choose any combination. So there you have it, folks. That was the SDM pedal board kit from Van Gogh. My first uh, thing from Van Gogh. And I certainly hope they send me some more stuff because this actually was pretty darn cool. Um, these, you can buy these on their Amazon store. I'll put a link in the description below. About 130 bucks as seen. I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, I will probably keep it in some sort of configuration just to have an extra pedal board kicking around. Now, if you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you like this sort of video, please check out that playlist link in the description. I've got dozens and dozens of unboxing videos I've done over the last several years. Again, this is the first one with Van, with Van Goa, but hopefully not the last. Thanks for tuning in.